Hi folks, another day and another new Xiaomi device has landed in. It looks like Xiaomi can't even pass a day without rolling out a new smartphone and I got my hands on the brand new Mi 11 Lite, the non 5G variant and let me quickly take you to its unboxing and quick review. Before I unbox this phone, uh, it would be massively appreciated if you guys can hit that subscribe button and also if you find this video good enough at some point, do hit the like button as well. So here's a box of the phone, white premium box with Mi 11 Lite branding on the top and left. Some Mi 11 Lite specs and info at the bottom. I've got this phone in the black color with a RAM of 6 gigs and internal storage of 1 to 8 gigs. I'll mention its price for different regions right here on the screen. And by the way, it shares its price tag with the base variant of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max in most of the regions. Let's take the wraps off. Here's the phone's warranty card. Let's get into the box now. At the top, we have this sleeve. Here, first of all, we have the SIM eject pin, some Mi 11 Lite documentation. Inside this small packet, we have a USB-C to headphone connector and this is a bad news. It means that there is no headphone jack in this phone. And here's a very cheap quality silicon case of the phone. Here's our first look at the phone and on the top we can see some specs including the feather weight of the phone as if Xiaomi has made a lightweight phone for the very first time in its history and I think this is the lightest Xiaomi phone I have ever held in my hands. The phone's dot drop display, its quad camera is also mentioned on the top sticker here. I'll turn this phone on and put it on aside for a while. This phone comes with a 33 watt fast charger and a USB-C cable is also included in the box. Let's take the phone out of its plastic wrapping now. Okay, so here's our ultra thin and lightweight black Mi 11 Lite. I'll set this phone up quickly and get back to you guys at once with a quick review. I don't want to uh, pass any hate or I don't want to be rude but if you closely look at the Mi 11 Lite, it looks like a cheap copy of the iPhone 12. Look at how flat it lies, look at how flat is the top and bottom of the phone. Had Xiaomi used a metallic frame with those sharp edges, this phone would have looked like a 100% copy of the iPhone 12. But Xiaomi had to keep some differences so that the users do not find out that it's an exact copy right when they get their hands on this phone. Even if you look at that uh, camera module, the camera cutout of this phone, it looks exactly the same as the cutout of the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro. The only difference here is that Xiaomi has used a different camera formation and Xiaomi has also used a different look for the camera sensors. But these few changes, these are not enough to hide uh, the resemblance between the Mi 11 and the iPhone 12. This phone is definitely a cheap copy of the iPhone 12 and I don't, I don't feel any kind of hesitance to say that right here because it is what it is. Xiaomi could have done a bit better here but unfortunately that's not the case. Built out of glass, it's protected by Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and at the back and it's sandwiched with the help of a plastic frame. The phone has its primary speaker USB-C port and mic at the bottom along with the hybrid SIM card slot and a fingerprint scanner embedded right into the power button and volume rocker on the right side. IR blaster and secondary mic at the top, nothing on the left. Taking a look on the front takes us back to the time when phones used to come with those ugly bezels. The punch hole on the top left is quite big, it's bigger than the punch hole of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is a 6.5 inches AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate, it supports HDR10 and this display has peak brightness of 800 nits and by the way I would like to tell you here that it has a screen to body ratio of 86.3. I'll discuss this ratio and its brightness in a while. 
Xiaomi has tried to make this a very nice phone with very good looks and a unique design. All those nice and cool features can be seen and felt there on this phone but Xiaomi itself released a cooler phone, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the phone with slimmer bezel, smaller punch hole, more screen to body ratio and that phone cost the same as the Mi 11 Lite. Then what's the point in compromising on those few things and making its own phone inferior to its sister company's phone? I can't quite digest this phone so far. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has even higher peak brightness of 1250 nits as compared to the 800 nits brightness of the Mi 11 Lite. This phone, like any other uh, new typical Xiaomi phone, runs on Android 11 themed by the MIUI 12 out of the box. It comes with the always on display which can stay on for about 10 seconds. The display has a good feel and touch responsiveness is quite good too. No visibility issues or no such thing and the colors on this display look quite good. I think for the most part you are going to enjoy this display. Playing the games or watching videos on this display is going to be an experience of its own kind. I am really glad that Xiaomi has finally moved away from those LCD displays on its mid-range smartphones and use of the AMOLED displays on these phones sets a new standard in the industry and I'm quite sure we'll start seeing better displays on the low-end phones very soon as well. About that punch hole, well, uh, I don't like its placement first of all, but it doesn't mean that everyone else dislikes it too. Some people like the punch hole placed in the center and I am one of those people too. Now Xiaomi has powered this phone up with a Snapdragon 732G 8 nanometer chipset. The 5G variant of the same comes with 780G and I am eager to test that out but that's not available in my region yet. The score of this chipset is on your screen and just for your info, the Redmi Note 10 Pro also houses the very same chipset. This phone has dual speakers, one is at the bottom and one is on the top of the screen. The sound output is quite impressive, not so loud and it's not too low either. Now there is a 4250mAh battery in this phone, which also explains why this phone's weight is so less. It weighs at about 153 grams and if it had a 5000mAh battery, it sure would have added to its weight too. It would be interesting to see how this small battery keeps this phone alive for long hours. Even though it has just a 90Hz refresh rate, but that battery is still smaller for a 6.55 inch screen. A 4500 battery would have made more sense here. Cameras on this phone include a main 64 megapixel sensor with electronic image stabilization. Other camera details and features are on your screen. It has a telemacro camera as well. Camera app is also just like any other Xiaomi phones app. It has all the basic features like the pro mode, slow mo, night mode, 1080p at 60 frames per second video recording for the rear camera only of course. I have shot uh, some images on this phone. It's night on my end right now so these are the indoor images just to give you guys an idea about its camera performance right now. I have its full camera review planned and that will come out on my channel in a couple of days. For now enjoy these samples and I'll catch you in a bit. And that brings my quick review and the unboxing to its end. Now, I would like to draw a clear line between the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Mi 11 Lite. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a lot of advantages over the Mi 11 Lite. I don't even know why this phone even exists. It shouldn't have been there at first. I believe Xiaomi just had to show its new design language. I mean, by a mistake, Xiaomi has made a phone that looks good. It's a good looking phone, right? But unfortunately, it also looks like a copy of the iPhone 12, just like I said. And this is a lightweight phone, which also happens to be uh, probably the very first Xiaomi phone, which is this much lightweight. Other than that, there is nothing special in this phone. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a better and brighter display with 1250 nits brightness, a better and higher refresh rate of 120 Hertz, and that phone also has the stereo speakers. This has dual speakers, but not the stereo speakers. Redmi Note 10 Pro also has that uh, SIM card slot that supports two SIM cards and one micro SD card at the same time. And that phone looks even cooler. I'm not kidding here at all. I mean, you can pick up both the phones and you can definitely uh, draw a conclusion right there, which phone 
feels more premium in the hand and in fact the redmi note 10 pro also has a headphone jack which is a major advantage over this phone and uh, the best part well the redmi note 10 pro in a lot of regions in my own region in fact cost the same as the mi 11 lite so why you should pick up the mi 11 lite when that phone is offering you almost everything better than this one there is not a single thing that i can declare better in this phone than the redmi note 10 pro the redmi note 10 pro has a bigger battery as well obviously that adds to the weight of the phone as well but we are talking about the value for money as well so why would you pick Mi 11 Lite once again. Xiaomi has just released a better phone than its own smartphone back in the day and now Xiaomi wants to uh, sell this phone to us which does not make any sense to me at all. Anyways, uh, drop your feedback about this phone and about this video in the comment section down below. If you guys uh, like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already done that. I am still going to continue the thorough testing of this phone and we'll know more about this phone in its camera review and its full review as well. So in the meanwhile, enjoy all of my upcoming videos. And with that being said, I will sign off and I will see you all in the next one.